Well, welcome back to Norway. Um, we've been struggling, uh, but hopefully form may be just about to turn. And uh, we've got a couple of games today and a big transfer decision to make as well. But uh, I'll tell you all the details on the other side of the intro. Okay then, as you can see, we have got seven games into the season and are sitting 10th. So, <clears throat> we will uh, get on with this one and I will tell you about the transfer decision we've got to make, which centres around Mr Muller Wolf here, who as you can see has a bid on him. A bid which I haven't yet accepted, but I have done the final negotiations for it, uh, with uh, Russian side Kriya Sovetov. So, um, clearly the Russians are back in action in this uh, this world. <clears throat> uh, now, I mean, we would get 12 million plus a bit of add-on, but of course it would then leave us with only the 35-year-old Christensen at left-back. Now, we've got a young man called Torsvik in um, the second team. And now, I think I was going to go with that side, so I'll set it up in in advance um, and he would be able to come into the first team but he's supposed to come in for Christensen who's out of contract at the end of this season and I don't think we'll be re-signing him um, I think the money could be better used elsewhere on someone who's not probably on the verge of retirement but <clears throat> obviously what that means is we then got to replace Muller Wolf um, Uh, I don't remember them doing that well in the last game, to be honest, but we'll say it, we'll say it now anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I've been hunting around my, my shortlist trying to find um, people that that might be acceptable. One of whom, I mean, we we agreed, agreed a deal with, um, with his club and he insists that we can't afford his wages. Even though I easily could afford his wages, and he wouldn't even go into negotiations to find out whether we could or not, which is ridiculous. Surely you'd at least ask, because you might get surprised, and they might say, "Actually, yeah, we we can pay that," and then, well, hey, payday. Oh, that's just terrible. God, actually, here we go again. Um. <clears throat> So we've hunted around and I have found someone who I have had a bid accepted for and he is considering the contract but he is not going to um, come back to us I don't think with his reply before the deadline for accepting this other deal um, which is tomorrow. So oh come on Hassan I mean, you must have known that was going to be you know to chase after. Oh, I'm Rasmussen. Um, <clears throat> so it's now a question of do I accept the deal from the Russian club and hope that nothing goes wrong with the other one? Um, or do I just sort of turn it down? Because I mean, Muller Wolf is only like 21 and he's he's got a lot of potential. Oh, hello. Jensen Vassberg snuck it in. He's first of the season. Um, and I'm not entirely sure I want to get rid of him, but it would be... I mean, we'd be up on the deal. We'd, we'd make more money out of it than we had to spend to replace him. So... Uh, yeah. Um, and the decision is going to have to be made soon. And I'm... This is where my risk-averse nature just kind of holds me back because some people would have gone yeah let's go for it let's do it just trusting the fact that the fact he's agreed a contract or agreed the terms of the contract um, with us is not going to go all horribly wrong and something's going to stop the deal happening oh dear oh Hanson that was a terrible why didn't you leave that for your goalkeeper that would be the question I'd be asking you very delicately and gently at half time. Luckily, you're not mine to ask. I mean, just leave it for the keeper, who then covers himself in glory by letting it in at the near post. But, <clears throat> wow. Well, we've come from behind. 
to take the lead. Uh, we are only expected top half this season, and sixth is currently top half. Uh, I haven't. <clears throat> now, one thing we have done is when Sigurd Arsen plays, he is playing as a deep line forward. Oh, Jensen Vatsberg, get in. This is more like last season. Um, but the other two, Hegebo and Moberg, who I have switched back to training as a forward and playing up front. Um, <clears throat> they, when they come on, or if they start, um, are going to be the target forwards that they were last year because they're just much more suited to it. Um, whereas Sigurd Arsene, he can play it, but I kind of want deep line forward to be the role. Um, because our younger players and our youth sort of squad players and our, our reserve players cannot play target forward. So it's not a role that we can sort of put really in the tactic per se. Oh, nearly. Um, <clears throat> but those two, when they're up there, can do that job. And we saw last season it was pretty effective. So, um, so yeah, I've had to had to be tweaking a, an awful lot. Uh, but I, I seriously thought when we went out of the cup um but that was gonna be me gone because we lost to a, a big rival 4-2 um we lost badly to sarpsborg we got beaten by lower division two divisions below us opposition in the cup um so our our reign as cup holders is gone we are i mean technically we are still cup holders because no one else has won it yet but um uh, yeah um yeah, let's try and take another gear. Or find another gear, I don't know. Something to do with gears. Um, and I think what was disturbing me most about the previous tactic, and I know it's supposed to be like a counter-attacking sort of thing, but it was just how little possession we got. And the fact that we didn't do anything with it, when we, even when we did get some. Um... Oh, hello. well, well done, both of you, for leaving that. That was spectacularly bad, and now they've scored. Congratulations. One of you should have got this, surely. I mean, look at that. Both of you were there. Both of you left it. Not neither of you even looked at it, as far as I can tell. What is that? Come on, sort your lives out. Don't suddenly go. Oh God! Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Oh, well done. Well done. Good work, boys. Loving it. Loving your style. Right, Sigurd Arson, you really should be a lot better than you are. You annoy me with your constant mediocre performances, if that. <sighs> right, the trouble is none of them are really playing that badly, so what has gone on here? And now I think I've, and now I can't shout at you to demand more or anything, even though I should be able to. I don't like. I mean, I, I know it would be open to abuse, but if you put a mechanism in there, oh, so you got, uh, now you see that's that's typical, isn't it? Right. Well, I'm going to cancel that now, assuming you give me the chance to. Um. Why haven't I been given the chance to cancel the sub? Oh, well, now it's going to look really good for him, isn't it? How is he still? What is going on here? Oh, that's because I haven't confirmed changes. Right, well, don't then. Yes, I would like you to discard those changes, please. Is the only reason I'm... Oh, you joking me. You are kidding me. Well, Torkilton's just bailed you out. And now he's having a good game, apparently, because he's had one penalty. I mean, stuff the fact he was playing badly before that. Good God. Well, it's another thoroughly impressive performance. 
I mean, look at that. How do we have 65% possession and allow them an XG of over two and to score three? They haven't got the ball often enough to do that. Oh. Right, no, it wasn't good. I don't like what I saw from this team. You're, you can appear as confused as you like. Actually, no, I'm not even going to tell you you were all right, because until you scored, I was going to take you off, so no. You can be confused and demoralised. The rest of them, no, they weren't good enough, even though we won. And we're still not top half, because other results have gone against us. <sighs> right, I'm going to have to make this transfer decision now, so when we come back for the next game, you'll figure out what's happened. Okay, the deal, I think, is done. And I say I think, because I'm not entirely sure um, <laughs> what happened with it. Because um, obviously this was sat here waiting, and then I asked them to delay it, and then I got the confirmation um, that John Kitolano here, who was... My, f my initial preference was him, because he's Norwegian. Uh, and I wanted to get someone homegrown to replace the homegrown lad who was going. I don't want the place flooded with foreign uh, talent. Um, and as you can see, he is joining on the 1st of August. What I don't quite know yet is when Muller Wolf is leaving. It says that he's in the contract stage. But I have also had um, a thing to confirm. I don't know, maybe he hasn't signed the contract. I'm not sure but i think he's going i've agreed to the deal anyway so it's, it's down to him now um and yeah so we're gonna get 12 million for him how much have i spent on matey uh five million rising to eight with three payments of a million a, a year so we've spread the cost um so yeah we've got a, a bit of profit his wages are higher than muller wolf's but um you know he's slightly better so that's not a bad thing uh right now then Relatively unchanged side, possibly a completely unchanged side. Uh, not sure, but everyone played reasonably well last week. Um, I did have a little thing from um, Rilwan Hassan uh, coming to me saying he thought I was too harsh with them at the end of the game. I was like, well, I, I didn't bother speaking to him because it's like, well, nine out of your ten teammates, mate, didn't think it was a problem. They actually were sort of... Um, Buoyed up by what I, I said. Uh, oh, now he's complacent. You're not winning friends here, real man. You're really not. Uh, do I really want to tell him to carry on? Yeah, all right then. Despite the fact that that seemed to be concede goals at will. I know we got one more than they did, but it doesn't do my heart any good. All this blooming constant ding dongs. Right. Oh, hello. Are oh, you city in disguise? Oh, the passes like oh, oh yeah. well that was. Mm. Let's move on. I'm sure Rash wants to be reminded of that one. <clears throat> Hello. You see now if if we'd have done if, what, uh, okay, he's just nodded it on. <clears throat> it does seem to be a little. A little better on that front because you used to get the situation where if that ball had gone over the defender's head, that that was it, mate. He was cleaning. Oh, hello, it's a penalty. Oh, Sigurdarsson's taking them out, is he? Okay, I might actually get a goal out of him. And yes, I realise he scored in the last game, but only after being threatened with being hauled off. Right, well, we've taken the lead. This is against the team that came up with us last season, by the way. This is Sannes Ulf, whose manager won the uh, First Division Manager of the Year award. Because, you know, finishing 15 points clear at the top clearly isn't good enough. Yes, I'm bitter. OK, well, let's show him just who the better side are, shall we? Oh, brilliant first touch, Jensen. Well done. I love the way you just dropped it right in front of him so they can run onto it. Right, come on, let's win this ball back. Yours! Somebody's! Oh, well done, Muller Wolf. Oh, we'll miss that. See, this is the other thing. I've started sort of using him a bit more other than Christensen now. Oh, sick! 
What did that? Oh my word! Crashed off the bar, somehow flew down and span out for a goal kick. Oof. Well, we're not exactly playing a blinder, are we? I mean, no. Well, Hassan is playing a seven, and that's that's it so far. Right, yeah, step it up a gear. Finding gears again. You footballers or mechanics? I don't know. Quite possibly as good at both. Given how bad we seem to be at football on occasion. Oh dear. Oh, no! Oh, he's missed it. How has he rolled that wide? Oh my word. You see, again, it's the, the the lack of shots on target. Ten shots, one on target. Yes, it went in, but it was a penalty. It's supposed to go in. Oh, the trouble is, you shout at them demand more when they're winning, and they get all hissy fit about it. I don't want that on the screen. I think I'm really playing badly. Right, fine, let's just crack on. <sighs> Go on, hunt him down. Okay. Go on, Jacket. Up the line, up the line. Okay. Back to your keeper. Fine. Right, Muller Wolf. Okay. Well, this is thrilling. Oh, if he gets any more thrilling, please get it up the other end before it does. Oh, hello, Jensen Vassberg. Oh, couldn't finish it. Uh, right, now, is anyone a bit tired? Uh, Skullfgaard's a bit tired. Right, we're going to put Casper Vidal on. Give you a bit more time. Um, and I'm not overly keen on Hansen, so Skarnes is going to come on. He's one we have to make a decision about. Uh, actually, I'm going to put Hegabo on as well. I'm going to triple sell. Um, before the season is up, because he's out of contract, he's on over a million a year, and he's worth about 15 mil. So, if I'm going to not re sign him, I need to sell him in the next window, because otherwise we'll get nothing for him, and we could get plenty for him at the moment. Oh, and he lobs it over to Hegabo. Of course, we play like that. He might just earn himself a new deal. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I know he has a certain fan base. I've seen the comments. So. Got that over left footed as well, didn't he? Which, given he's playing on the right wing, should mean he's definitely right footed. Impressive. Okay. Well, I mean, they were never really in it and never really a threat but then they're not supposed to be they were promoted last season when they weren't expected to be um well i'm just gonna say nice work everyone well done those of you who were substituted think about why uh i mean they are bottom with only a point all season so very unlike us to have actually beaten them but we are now top half Yay! I'm fulfilling the requisites. I don't even know if that's a word. Yeah, I think this this style of play definitely suits us better. I'm still not sure we're not shaky at the back. And I realise that that screen shows that we've kept three clean sheets in the last four games. But you saw the three goals we conceded. We can't be trusted, frankly. Europe is the next big thing. And the transfer window should be open by then as well. So we might do a few deals and see if we can bolster the squad a bit and I mean it's gonna have to be if someone comes in someone's gonna have to go out I guess as usual I find myself complaining when I shouldn't be so thank you for putting up with that uh, like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye bye